Mac the Fanatic and I'm back. I'm going to be uh, making a few videos here. First one is going to be on fakes. And it's something that I just learned from a couple guys on Instagram. One of them being um, a guy who I'm going to be doing a collaborative video with pretty soon. And um, his name is uh, The Young OG, or Respect the Jux, I believe. <laughs> Jux. I really don't know what the fuck that is, but apparently it's from a rap song. Jukes, Jux. Basically, Respect the Hustle, I guess. In any case, uh, he pointed this out to me that another guy in IG from, from France... Um, uh, knew of a particular detail on these jerseys here. So it mostly applies to Reebok from the early 2000s, but um, there are Nike, uh, excuse me, Adidas fakes as well. Uh, let's take a look at these tags here because that's where the uh, that's where the sign is of it being fake. So it looks like you know. Anyone who's, you know, collecting jerseys, if you're not paying particular close attention, this might seem fine to you. Um, you know, the Reebok looks legit, doesn't look weird or anything, but then we come to this part here, size 44, and you have Spanish, French, and English. Now, first of all, um, I think the order of these is incorrect. Second of all, this part here, AUX, means from, not in. So it should be in, 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 not in, from, in. Now, this is a very odd, this is uh, French right here. It should say EN for N, for meaning in. Now, it's very weird here to me. Did Reebok just make a mistake on the translation? Or according to this guy, all jerseys that say this, now, I don't want to mention any names here, but <laughs> there's a couple very reputable sellers who actually have physical stores that I know who have a couple of these in their store. And I'm not accusing them. They probably didn't know, you know, but um, and then again, there is a slight possibility that it's legit, but I don't think so, especially mine, because if we look at this. The reverse side also looks very weird. There's supposed to be a lot of information here, I think. And all you see is HAS57. Again, it could just be a weird tag. You can take a look at the stitching um, in here. You don't see a lot of the weird paper or anything like that. Um, you know? The this is how it looks on the inside. Look, that looks pretty clean. I mean, but there are good fakes. Comparing it to another one that I've seen, NBA logo looks okay. I think could be a little off, but um, looking at the jock tag, supposedly now if you look at the font, that's important. And I guess this one is wrong. But uh, the numbers also a little wrinkly, I guess. Bubbly numbers tend to be, although that does happen with wear and tear anyway over time. But um, I don't know. This looks pretty clean. Look at the look, look at the quality of the fabric. It's very thick, and it feels just like the real jersey. Look at the reinforced stitching. Like it's not sloppy. Everything is perfect. I think it's just a really, really good fake. Like, I wouldn't mind wearing it, but it does bother me if it's fake. I might have to sell it. So, taking a look at the back, we have the King's logo. Looks pretty clean. Single stitched bibby. So, what do you guys think? Does anyone know about this? Uh, I've been told by a couple guys, they swear that this is fake. Um, and then I'm sure there's others that think this is real. So 
Let me know what you think. Apparently the Adidas ones have a different order. It's less common to have this mistake, AUX, but when looking at Adidas, you do want to look at these three languages in a different order. One more thing to notice, to mention about this is the shoulders, the width of the shoulders. I saw another Reebok one and compared it and the shoulders are much thinner up top. So that is the shape is something you might want to look for in terms of it looking more boxy on the fakes. Looking at this Adidas, we see made in Korea, hecho en Korea, y fabriqué en Korea. So it does have EN. It says also 100% polyester. So, and then you've got all this information going down the opposite side. And I think that's what's supposed to be on Reebok as well. More information, and I think that's the problem going back and looking at how blank this tag is here. Here's another Adidas that I do have. Um, yep, yeah, this looks very consistent, but this one says Vietnam and that's okay. You've got English, Spanish, French. Going back to the other Adidas, what was the order of it? English, Spanish, French. Yep, so that's consistent again. Um, but the Reebok one was Spanish, French, English. So yeah, I think that's wrong, but it does have a different order than the Adidas. Going back to this Adidas tag, you've got Vietnam and then all the information. So depending on the year, they did make it in different countries. Here's another one, um, English, Spanish, French, polyester, 100%. Just going back to double check, because I keep forgetting, polyester, English, Spanish, French. Yep, so very consistent with all my Adidas. This is the only other Reebok Authentic I own, and it better be fucking right. Aha, polyester, baby. English, French, Spanish. Now that's correct for Reebok, I believe. It should be English up top, then French, then Spanish. The French and Spanish are flipped for Adidas. Let's double check that one more time. English, Spanish, French on Adidas. So Spanish in the middle, English up top. And then on the Reebok, French is in the middle, Spanish on bottom. This better be fucking authentic because it's one of my nicest jerseys I own. So LeBron's first all-star game. But yeah, this looks to be how it should look, guys, with all the information here. So I think this is my... I've talked about fakes a little bit in some of my videos, perhaps, but I've never gone on depth, I don't believe. So this will be my first video on fakes, so to speak. All right, guys, see you in the next one.